Hi there. Thank you for joining me. I thought what I'd do this week is an extension of last week's um, broadcast, which if you didn't watch it um, or you don't recall because there's so much information out there right now, um, I'm not, not offended, it's fine. Uh, what I talked about was asking for the adult in charge to be call, called forward. So the adult that's within you, within all of us, um, that they be the one responding to the world and, and showing up in the world if you are in fact you know, over the age of 18. Um, I wanted to continue it this week because for a couple of reasons. I heard uh, feedback on it that, hey Amy, hey Gina, um, that people appreciated my, you're gonna love this, direct view of in comments and asking for people to be accountable um, and to show up in, in who they are and take responsibility. It feels really good. I just don't understand why people don't want to practice that more. I can understand some of the psychological reasons, but from a man, this feels good. I just don't get it. Um, someday I will, I suppose. So I thought I would continue it this week and because it also showed up in um, a couple conversations I had, like it tends to, you know, that whole law of attraction. And people brought it up in session and asked me if I would share their experience, which I think is so generous. Um, because, you know, we have our stuff. And of course, I'm not going to mention who they are, but to be willing to not only say, yeah, I wasn't holding that adult in charge space, um, but I did this week. Oh, it's just so empowering. Um, and then, of course, it's, it's very fulfilling for me because um, I just want everybody to feel really good about who they are and to then be spreading that out in the world. I don't ask for much. I just ask for that. So this week, um, something actually funny came up within a session, which happens uh, quite a bit. And um, we were trying to identify what was the emotion that was going on within this person. And um, my radar allows me to feel the vibration of an emotion and the vibration of and the expression of an emotion. So um, sometimes when somebody can't articulate what that is or they haven't been in touch with their emotions, because they're not mine and because I've practiced, it's easier for me to get in there and say, well, does it feel like this? Or um, is there any connection to this emotion that you can remember from the past? And I, we just narrow it down, right? So one in, in one case though, I was having such a hard time identifying what she was feeling and what was um, trying to express itself, but just oh, it wouldn't come out, right? So I said to her, um, this feels like a franger. <laughs> and um, I'm known for making up my word connect, you know, groupings and things like that. But we got laughing so hard, which dispels energy, humor does, which is why it shows up in my practice quite a bit. Um, so when she said, well, what the hell is Franger? I said, well, it seems like it's a combination of frustration and anger. And the anger was trying to come up and come out, which is a very effective mechanism and a, and a great way to release blockages and to identify what the heck am I feeling? Um, so it was trying to, oops, <laughs> my cushion just slipped. Um, it was trying to come up so she could say, you know, I was so angry about the situation that happened or how I was treated because giving voice to that dissipates it. Um, and also validates that an experience happened. So, but the logical brain, which can often act illogically, was pushing it down because she didn't have a practice in expressing anger in a healthy manner. So, um, very, very aware person, um, 
extremely cognitively connected. Oh my goodness. Um, but it, sometimes we don't know ourselves well enough to be able to connect with what's happening in there. So as I describe it and say, it looks like it's, it's pushing against each other and we started calling it Franger, which feel free to use. Um, the frustration lessened, right? And because it was identified and then the anger could come up and, and we could talk about it and, and we could dissipate it. And that doesn't immediately solve any problem, right? But it feels pretty damn good. So with that expression of her uh, franger and allowing for the energy to be mm, addressed, uh, sadness, the gamut of emotions can show up, but that's where you get healthy. That's where you get someone walking around in the world, not thinking that the whole world is against them or that there's, um, you know, things only happen to them or why can't they experience joy, love, um, ecstasy, all of it, all the stuff. Um, and with that, we were able to connect to an old experience that just couldn't allow herself to go to before. And once we talked about that, again, one session does not immediately disperse any trauma that's been in the past. But once you wiggle it loose a little bit, we're, we're pretty smart um, individuals and very resilient. You could start to move to that next uh, frequency of um, energy to which may be self-forgiveness um, for even being part of the interaction. Okay, so part of this identifying the, the Franger energy was because her adult in charge was present. Her adult was saying, okay, I may not like what the heck I have to look at. There are some awarenesses I've had about my childhood that, ha, 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 uh, <laughs> like I want to lose my stuffing over. But then I realized the adult in charge today, the, the person who is standing here today is no longer in that situation. Um, so I can look at it. I can even have some compassion and some humor and forgiveness in, in whatever the, the experience was, and then I can friggin' release it and not carry it around. Um, so this is, this is the intention, right? So when the, when you have the idea that it's pretty cool to connect with that adult you to um, pull in the skill sets that you have developed over the years that maybe you don't even know are there too. Okay, so one of the other things with that frustration, when we're pushing down um, sadness, anger, uh, it can often uh, display itself as depression or as apathy. Um, or, um, well, apathy, not caring, same thing. And the intention here is to identify in order to celebrate, um, because if you can identify that you've been pushing down anger and you can release the anger, you can celebrate the fact that your system doesn't have to experience depression in order to address whatever's going on in there. Okay, so the expression as a balanced adult is hopefully what we're all striving for. Some of us didn't get the skill sets. Um, some of us weren't taught, but I think it's our responsibility, especially in this um, time where so much information is available to find that teacher, to find that therapist, to find that coach, to find someone that can help you to arrive in the space where you are actively living 
in the adult in charge energy and you are then tapping into the child, child self to have fun um to bring that to the adult self to add sparkle to this life um so if you can express as a balanced adult if you can be as a balanced adult your expression will um reflect that so when you see a transgression or an injustice or something that just ticks you off you don't add to the chaos by flying off the handle um, we've had some stuff locally where spouses of local politicians are calling other people and telling them what to do with their living what to do with their businesses and, and I don't normally get involved in that I'm very informed but I make my um, uh, platform in the in the voting booth which is where we all need to be so get your butts there when it's time um, but this really annoyed me because I thought well where the heck is their adult in charge because I promise you, if Howard had ever done that, oh, it would have been not pretty in the Baird household. Because when I'm stepping up as my adult in charge, I don't need someone to step in and defend me. I don't need someone to say, back off. I don't need someone to um, um, run their lips, <laughs> uh, thinking they know what's in my best interest. So the the practice of asking yourself when you're in that moment when you want to react am i in, in an adult space can i call on all the skills i have i uh, if this was being filmed would i want it out there it's a good thing to ask yourself uh and to really then be so proud of yourself for responding in that way now in order to get there, it's important for you to address whatever anger may be under the surface. And some people will smile their way through life and they'll be like, I'm not mad at anything. And okay, maybe it's not right on the surface. So like if something, or right under the surface, sorry. So if something annoys you, you go off. But um, if you've never asked the question, am I mad about something? You're probably mad about something. Um, and I had someone in and she has given me permission to share this. She is so pissed off <laughs> about a divorce process. Happens. I see that a lot in here. Um, and uh, I had challenged her to find a way to dispel that anger. Go get a bat, get a pillow, beat the snot out of that pillow. Um, get a slam ball do something to get that energy out and i love this part when she thought about the bat with the pillow she's like mm, no i gotta hit something hard so she was hitting with her bat with the foam on it so she doesn't uh, you know she was hitting, hitting a steel pole and then cement girders <laughs> which i just think is brilliant because she didn't sit in the anger she could have she could have been mad at me for even suggesting that she take responsibility for her part in the relationship because it's never just one person. Even if we're just being oblivious to what the other person's actions are, it's never just one person. So she beat the snot out of this thing so much that it broke. And that to me is someone connecting with their adult in charge. She stopped because of that. She can now feel a release. She can feel um, like she can identify and tap into that strong, stable self that she really is, but that the emotions of the situation or the fear around the situation was sending her into a reactive place. So kind of feel bad for the bat, but that's the purpose, right? To lose it where it's appropriate. We ask kids all the time to act, act appropriately but we're not demonstrating it. So I'm sending out an all call that we start demonstrating it. Um, and that means taking into consideration the other person's emotions, but also holding, um, holding a standard. Let's start holding a standard. I get that there's a child in charge of our country right now. There is. 
And that is driving and it's pulling, that energy is pulling all of our reactive selves out. So if you have childhood stuff you have not dealt with, it is going to be poked by the current administration. I actually think that's a good thing because if we don't address it, again, we can't release it. So um, one of the things that I think sends people into their explosive self is that we all want to be heard. We all want to be seen. But reaction, unless you're jumping in to help save someone, is not a stage performance. Like we need to leave that that for the stage. Um, there are some that are walking around so offended by every flipping little thing that's going on. I had a conversation this week where somebody was upset because it was one degree, one degree warmer than she wanted it to be. <laughs> I just don't have any space for that. But the adult in me said, honor her. This is what she's saying. It's true to her. But I was clear that I was not going to give it any time. I cannot do anything about your superpower and being able to feel heat. Got nothing for you. That is the adult in charge, right? That is being able to hold the space and be able to say that I hear what you're saying. This is what I'm saying. We might be at an impasse. That's okay. So if you cannot be in that space when something is going on, you have not dealt with something underneath. Um, because in order to be in that solidness, um, you need to feel solid within yourself. So um, the reason I bring this up is because the connectiveness that we have within ourselves and with spirit and with those around us comes from, I, I think, can truly be in an authentic, beautiful space if we are aware of our own deficits and I, I truly mean that in a way of like maybe the partnership you're in right now does not have love in it and you need to decide that that's not where you stay um, maybe the job doesn't fulfill you uh, maybe you've been eating crap and you know you should eat cleaner because you feel better when you do um hi um <laughs> so I always include myself in this I do not think that I've figured it all out um the when when we each walk around in that space of being willing to look at what's missing we can then find within ourselves the stuff to fill it up and if you're really angry something's missing it, it could be joy it could be chemical you might need some help just saying there's pharmaceuticals there's homeopathic there's acupuncture the responsibility lies with you do you want to be happy do you want to be in this life in a way that feels like you are contributing not only to the whole but to yourself so ask yourself this week if you are in any way being like the, these women who stepped out of line um and are trying to push other people around because if you're acting that way there's most likely anger underneath there too and besides asking for the adult in charge to show up and, and practice some manners, uh, looking at that would help you recognize that people have opinions and we are, um, we are absolutely uh, valid in our own opinions because we're the only ones who can feel, see, intuit, know what we've gone through. So if you are someone who pushes and really implores other people to see a situation the way you're seeing it. You want them to understand what you're saying. That's a form of bullying. And um, that, while, I, while it does come from something inside that's not being addressed or met, um, that's not okay. okay as well. So this week, if you would, again, I'm always asking you to do the inventory. I'm always going to ask you to follow yourself around because this is how we get to the place where we're understanding what our interactions are 
and how it impacts ourselves and others. And that's the joy of being here in the accountability so you can see something, decide that you want to change it, and then that's where getting to, that's where being an adult can be fun. All right, and I do want us to have fun. So if you um, find yourself commenting that someone should have done something differently or they should be acting in this way or they um, should uh, do this with their life. Please stop shooting on them uh, and bring the attention back to yourself and look at what could you be shifting in your own life and put the, put the effort there and then trust that other people can figure out their own lives. Um, if you have Franger, <laughs> I, <laughs> admit it, just admit it to yourself. You don't have to take out a billboard. You don't have to get on and do a rant. Um, you don't have to, I uh, change everything in a day. Um, you just simply would be giving yourself the gift to check in and then dispel some of that energy. So like Mary, who is now leaving, is going to play with puppies. She does a lot more with the puppies, but she calls it play with puppies. And um, that would be a fantastic way of dispelling some energy. Because when you see the joy and you see the silliness and you see their fat little bellies, um, how can you be miserable? You still may want to understand what's underneath the surface and that's acting like a volcano, but <laughs> why not do it through play therapy or joy? So um, asking yourself to expand and grow is what your soul is, is about. Our soul is all about how can I expand, grow, learn, experience, uh, help, give, uh, share. That's what it's here for. And our human selves, I think, have been shirking the duties of um, being willing to say, oh, this one's on me. I'm going to clean up, as the expression goes, my side of the street and then I'll be with you in a moment. So I so appreciate those of you who are already amazing humans and Liz who want to be humans with more amazingness. Um, when you use the word better, uh, it applies to where we've been, right? It refers back to where we've been. I want to be better than I was before, but there can be judgment in that. Right. So I'm asking that you acknowledge where you are today and amp that puppy up. So thank you, Liz. Thank you so much. As someone I know who does walk her walk, um, I appreciate that very much. So be kind to yourself when you're doing this inventory for those of you who have a tendency to be tough on, on you. Um, that can produce anger. <laughs> so that would be kind of counterproductive here. So have fun with the word franger, because uh, it's kind of fun to say. And uh, you, if you find you're frangry, maybe you're hangry and <laughs> just need to get something to eat. So I am off to my next one. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And uh, keep calling on that adult in charge so that you feel accomplished, proud, and most of all, so you shine. All right, I'll see you. Bye.